Ladies and gentlemen, welcome here to Monument Valley, United States of America, the Navajo Nation. This is a fantastic place I've spent the last day and a half in exploring and adventuring, and today I'm going to give you guys a guide of everything you possibly need to know about Monument Valley so you can plan your trip here and make it the most amazing time. Now before we jump into everything you guys need to know, I wanna let you guys know that we make videos on this channel like this all the time. I have guides like this all over the world in a bunch of different sites, especially across the United States. And I'm actually doing a road trip across the US right now. So if you wanna learn about a bunch of cool sites in the United States of America, you better subscribe, leave a like on this video and comment a place that you would like to see. And let's jump into everything you possibly need to know about this amazing Monument Valley. So the way that I tend to do these guides is that I break them up into sub-subjects. We'll start off with location. Where is Monument Valley? Well, Monument Valley is located right on the border of Northern Arizona and Southern Utah. There are no major cities or towns close to this area. It's just a bunch of Native American reservations. And you can consider big towns like Page, Arizona, which is located about two hours away, which is where Horseshoe Bend is located, and maybe even the Grand Canyon to be three hours away. So those are some major sites that are close to here. Besides that, Monument Valley is indeed a valley and a giant one at that. In the Native American language of Navajo, this place is known as the Valley of Rocks. And this is sacred land under the Native American culture of the Navajos. This is part of the Navajo Nation. This is a sort of autonomous region in the United States of America, which is very, very cool, that expands a few thousand miles and is home to the Native American population of the Navajos. We're gonna get into that a little bit later, but that's kind of the region that we're working with here. The location is indeed part of a desert slash shrubland environment. This is characterized by the giant red rocks and formations that are right behind me. Red sand, orange sand, white sand, and everything you can expect to find in a classic desert, but also tons of greenery in the area. There are actually tons of sites within the actual Monument Valley that you can hit up, and we'll talk about those a little bit later as well, but that's kind of an idea of the location that we're in. All right, moving on from locations, let's jump into costs. How much will it cost for you to come visit Monument Valley? So the cost to actually enter this here road of the border between Arizona and Utah, where you can see everything pretty much for free, is free. It doesn't cost you anything to actually just drive into here, into Monument Valley. And there are certain places where you can come and get views of Monument Valley, but obviously the best way to possibly see the place is by paying some money. You can pay $20 to gain access to a certain road that will allow you to drive into the actual Monument Valley, and this will give you really, really nice sights of the entire place. As well, there's organized tours located throughout this area that will take you through Monument Valley, showing you the different places that you can visit. So besides the $20 that you have to pay to access roads, tour prices can range very high to very low. We opted to work with a tour company called Navajo Spirit Tours, and there will be more information on that coming later in the video. I would expect if you're a single traveler to pay something in the range of 100 to 150 US dollars to get a really, really, really in-depth tour of this area. But you can find things as low as $50 and as high as $1,000. Also, right behind me, there's actually an airport which you can do flying tours of Monument Valley. This will also come a little later into the attractions area, but prices like that can kind of skyrocket your trip, so it just depends on what you're dealing with. Food-wise, this is a touristy area, so food will be kind of expensive as well as amenities like water and accommodations. Everything will be kind of pricey. So yes, a trip to Monument Valley can be cheap if you want to cheapen out on your experiences here and just kind of see the outside of the valley and just kind of experience a very light touch of it, especially if you're just driving through and you don't want to give this place an entire day or a few days. You can just drive through, see the beautiful sights. You don't have to pay a lot of money, but if you want to take a tour, you want to get in depth with it, it might cost you a pretty penny, but I have to say it is very, very, very much worth it. That'll cover costs. Let's jump right into accommodations. So as for accommodation, this place is very interesting because it's located on Navajo land. Now the Navajos have very specific ways that they guide their land and the way they like to keep their land. And so there's certain rules and regulations, especially when it comes to camping or setting up tents anywhere. There are a lot of rules and you want to adhere to those rules because you obviously don't want to get fined and in trouble and you want to respect the people and the culture here. So to break it down for you, you have a plethora of hotels here. Plethora might be an overstatement. We're currently standing in the parking lot of a place called Goldings, which is kind of like a resort slash hotel area, but there are a few low budget and higher budget hotels around in this area. Things ranging in the $100 to $300 range, as well as options to camp and glamp. Glamping is obviously an experience within itself and it also might cost a little bit more of a pretty penny because it tends to be more of an attraction rather than a sleeping necessity to keep things cheap. Glamping is basically where you camp fans and lights and washrooms and there are certain companies that will take you out for certain things like that. We opted to do the cheapest of the cheap, but we did it alongside our tour. 
so it was included in the price and we did some camping. We camped on top of a place called Hunts Mesa, which we will jump into a little bit later in the video. And we had a giant tent set up by the company that sponsored this video, Navajo Spirit Tours. They gave us giant tents with actual mattresses inside of them. So it made sleeping here really, really, really cool. Just to keep in mind, the weather fluctuates like crazy here. So if you're planning on camping, make sure that you're ready for a very, very hot day and a very, very cold night. If you're coming here in the winter, you can expect snow as well because this is a high desert located at the elevation of about 6,000 feet. So if you're coming in the winter, be prepared for snow, be prepared for the weather, especially if you're camping. If you're coming to stay in a place like a resort or a hotel, you're all set, you should be a-okay. But that should cover accommodation. Let's jump into food. Food, you may be asking yourself, what kind of food can I expect here? Well, because this is Navajo land, you can actually expect Navajo dishes. I don't know many off the top of my head and information has been kind of scarce on getting Navajo food, but one thing that I can definitely recommend to you guys when it comes to food that you have to try in this area, don't stick to the classic hamburger Burgers. Don't stick to the milkshakes and french fries and hot dogs. Break out of your shell a little bit and try a Navajo taco. We actually just had Navajo tacos here at Goldings and they were absolutely amazing. Navajo tacos basically consist of Native American fry bread and fry bread is a classic Navajo dish. It's basically like a giant fried pita. It is really soft and really delicious, very oily as well. And inside is chili con carne, beans, meat, lettuce, tomatoes, salsa, and it's just a very hearty and healthy and delicious meal. Well, I don't know about healthy when it comes to the fry bread, but it is very delicious. Delicious. As well, you can expect things like blue corn mush. Blue corn mush is kind of like a, a corn meal mush with made with blue corn. It's very delicious. As well, Navajos actually pride themselves on eating things from the wild. Things like yaka, which is a boiled kind of root from the inside of a plant, and even some Navajo tea. Also, a few other things that might be found in this area that might be slightly less authentic. Things like a Sonoran hot dog and another sort of dish. I forget how to pronounce it. I think it's called chiquichilim. Chiquichilim? Chiquichilim. The chilchen. Yeah. I don't know how to pronounce it exactly, but it is a sort of mush as well that's very sweet and delicious, like a type of porridge, and it's made out of some of the local plants here. These are all things you can learn about when taking a tour, especially with a tour company like Navajo Spirit Tours. Let's jump right into the attractions. What should you do when you're here in Monument Valley? Well, when you're here, the attraction is the nature, obviously, the actual Monument Valley, which you can see behind me, which is made up of these giant pillars. And just a little bit of information for you guys, this thing was created over millions of years. Most of what we see right now was underwater. All these spires and crazy things that are sticking out of the ground behind me. They were all underwater at some point millions of years ago. There are even places our tour guides took us to show us when millions of years ago things started rising above dinosaur footprints on sandstone slabs. It's a very surreal experience to be looking out and imagining all of this under hundreds of meters of water in an ancient prehistoric sea filled with crazy life. So obviously with that little message of geological wonder, you might be wondering to yourself, where can I learn more about this? And that's by taking a tour. That is the number one thing I recommend you do if you come to Monument Valley. There are obviously a bunch of tour companies in this town, but I recommend to you Navajo Spirit Tours. They are the company that we actually worked with on the video series here. We got to learn about the culture and see the sites and we actually opted in for the Hunts Mesa tour. This was a tour where we got to go camp on the top of Hunts Mesa, which is a mesa in the middle of Monument Valley, a beautiful red rock where you can oversee the entirety of Monument Valley at sunrise and sunset. You take an amazing off-roading tour that lasts about two hours both ways. It's four hours of off-roading and all your food, accommodation, supplies is all carried on by your tour guide with the truck that is brought up to the top of Hunts Mesa. You really get to learn about the culture, you get to learn about the plants, the environment, the history of this place, the geological formations, and even more. So I highly, highly recommend the Hunts Mesa overnight tour if it's something that you're interested in doing when you're here in Monument Valley. Besides Hunts Mesa, there's also a place called Mystery Valley. Mystery Valley is also located within the Monument Valley area and is another tour that you can take. The company that we work, Navajo Spirit Tours, actually does an overnight for Mystery Valley as well. And last but not least, obviously, when you're here, one of the main attractions is the actual Monument Valley itself. Pay $20 enter the park or even take a tour with Navajo Spirit Tours to take you into Monument Valley, sunrise, sunset, midday, whatever it is that you want to see the beautiful colors and experience the rocks and the geological formations as they were meant to be. I highly, highly, highly recommend you come and appreciate and take the time to see and look at this beautiful, beautiful formation of nature. I don't have the words to explain the feelings and the sights that you get when you're looking at something like this, but it's so amazing, so monumental, so I highly, highly recommend it. So besides off-roading and camping tours, you also have the option to do horseback riding tours there are companies that lead you through horseback riding tours here that will take you to some of the more prominent sites of the area. And you can also do small plane tours. 
kind of like the planes you see in the airfield behind me. Well, actually, I'm not really sure if you can really see them, but occasionally hanging out here, you'll hear the overhead plane flying around, and I'm assuming that looking at this place from overhead from a plane could be amazing. We got to obviously see what it kind of looks like overhead with a drone, but I'm assuming with a plane flying around and freely flying is probably a really, really amazing experience. So that's another option for you if you're coming here as an attraction. And last but not least, one of the major attractions to this area, and this place is renowned, world-renowned, and renowned across the United States for, is stargazing. Stargazing here is absolutely incredible. Not only do you get to see the wonderful formations, but you get to see an open plethora sky of stars at night. There are almost no artificial lights in the area, and you can look around and see amazing, amazing stars and clusters of stars. We actually got to see the Milky Way with our bare eyes last night. Stargazing in this area of the United States of America is amazing as is, but in Monument Valley, it makes it even more amazing, especially if you have a good camera that can capture pictures like this while you're stargazing with the formations and the rocks and the amazingness that is Mother Nature. So definitely when it comes to attractions, come experience stargazing gazing in Monument Valley. That'll cover attractions. Now let's talk about people. Who are the people that you can expect to find in Monument Valley, but more necessarily the Navajo Nation? Now I want to give you guys a heads up before we continue. I actually did a whole interview with a member of the Navajo tribe, so I want to make sure that you guys check that out if you want to learn a little bit more about it. I'll give you guys a quick summary of what you can expect. The Navajos are very, very in tune with nature, and they're all over here, especially in this area of Monument Valley. You can find them all across from the Grand Canyon, though, and Page, Arizona. They are really everywhere here, because this is their homeland. This is their mainland. When you enter these places, a lot of them are sacred sites to the Navajo, so you want to make sure that you're as respectful and you're taking care of the land. You want to leave it as you found it. But the Navajos are very friendly and respectful people, especially if you get a chance to sit down and have a conversation with one of them. They speak the language of Navajo, which is a traditional Native American language, and it traces back thousands of years. They indulge in the dishes of the Navajo cuisine, like we spoke about a little bit earlier, and a lot of them work here on the reservations, off the reservations as tour guides, hotels managers, gas station operators, convenience store operators and general facilitators of upkeep of this area, making sure that it looks as pristine and is saved for generations to come. And that should cover people of the Monument Valley area. All in all, Monument Valley is absolutely, insanely, mind-bogglingly amazing. This part of the United States of America has been a crazy eye-opening experience just to see and appreciate how beautiful this country is. There's so much history, not only spanning back into Native American times, but millions of years ago into the prehistoric age. There's so much to see and do here, and the tours here will absolutely blow your mind. So please, come out and visit Monument Valley. Check it out for yourself. See it with your own eyes. Do not skip out on the opportunity to experience this before you die. And please, if you do come into the area, check out Navajo Spirit Tours down in the description below. Contact them and come on a tour and let them know that Clat sent you so you guys can receive all the love and fun that we did when we came on a tour with them and if you guys missed our video of actually filming the tour to the hunts mesa tour that we did where we did the overnight camping trip make sure you check that out make sure you check out our interview with a navajo member of the tribe our tour guide which is also an awesome human being and that's going to be it for this everything you need to know about monument valley arizona i'm going to see you guys in the next video i want to remind you guys to subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a single video because one i make videos like this all the time travel guides all around the world and i'm actually road tripping across the united states of america right now so there's so much more content to come from the u.s you don't want to miss a single video that's going to come out of this channel and make sure you check out the other videos on this playlist that are through this road trip through the united states of america don't miss a single one and we're going to see you guys in the next one i love you long time a goodbye class